Hey makers, welcome to the first part of our Build Your Frame series on how to build the canvas. The canvas is the part of the frame that will hold your material that the M2 will cut or etch. Imagine it like a painter's canvas where your stock material will be held and your M2 will create your design. Now the materials that you're gonna need to build the canvas are right here so you can pause this, but you can check out our full material list for each one of the frame types in our user guide and in the description below. To begin building the canvas, we're gonna lay all four of the short two by four canvas legs on their two inch edges, and we're gonna mark on one end of each one with the word bottom all the way across. Now you can put something fun on there too, like giraffe or Godzilla, whatever you wanna mark, doesn't matter, but as long as you mark that end, we'll always be measuring from the same end throughout the guide. That's something that we wanna make sure that we always do to make sure that we all have equal lengths. We're always gonna be measuring from those same ends. So we're gonna be marking our boards throughout this process. So from that end that you've marked, we're gonna measure up nine inches and 37 inches on that two inch edge. And then once we've marked nine inches and 37 inches, we're gonna use the speed square and hold it against the face of our board and then across the edge and we're gonna draw a straight line at nine inches and 37. If you wanna do this two at a time, right here like Patrick is, you can do that as well. You can lay them down and then cross on there. Just make sure that the ends are perfectly flat when you do that. So when you're going to the ends of the board, you gotta make sure that they are perfectly flush with one another while we're measuring it. For the next step, we're gonna position those canvas legs about four feet apart, and then we're gonna lay one of the canvas wasteboards, the five inch thick canvas wasteboards, down on the ends of them, and then make the ends of that 48 inch side flush with those four foot two by fours. And then we're gonna line that wasteboard up with our nine inch line. And we wanna make sure that it is square with each leg and that it is flush with the end all the way around. Once we know that it's square and flush by using our speed square like Patrick is doing right here, then we're gonna put a screw, one screw, into the bottom right there to make sure that it is attached. And then we kinda check that it's square again. And then we'll put two more that are evenly spaced across that 5 8 inch thick particle board. Once we do that, we're gonna repeat on the other side with the other leg and make sure that it's flush with the end and then put three evenly spaced wood screws on that side as well. Now we wanna make sure that those screws are all the way into those wasteboards. If they're not, your material won't be flush and that will cause problems with your cuts. As you can probably guess now, we're gonna attach the next wasteboard and it helps to lay a two by four across the top so it's supported on the sides and the top when we do this next part because it really helps to square and flush the, the wasteboard on top with that extra two by four on the back there. So we're gonna square up the ends and make sure that it's perfectly flat and flush on each side and on that 37 inch line. And then we're gonna screw it in with two evenly spaced wood screws. Once we get those wood screws in, our canvas is complete. So if you're building the mini frame, you just need to build this one. And if you're building the standard or XL, then you're gonna repeat this again to make sure that you have two canvases that you can stand up in between your frame legs. All right, I hope this video was helpful to build your canvas and check out part two to continue building your frame.